Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Destination Specialist. And today we're doing a very special to kind of tie in with the Trafalgar webinar yesterday. Yes, with yes, that's right. That's right. Today, what we're going to do is we're, we, we picked a, a, a tour and we're going to show you that. But before we get started, uh, first off, we want to say it's Thursday, uh, September, uh, the, what is it? The 16th. 16th? It's uh, 2021. It's the 16th. Yeah, it's the 16th. Uh, it's uh, a little bit after three o'clock. I'm Jose Lambert of Archer Travel Service, and this is Susie Hegmuller. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to go and show you this great destination. But before we get started, we do want to say something really special to our uh, agents in Mexico. Happy Independence Day. Um, and I know Amanda did something on Facebook to recognize that that day. And, and you guys are all have the day off there. So we salute you and you know we wish you the best of luck and have fun and be safe. Right. OK. Happy number of your fourth is their fourth of July. It's their their fourth of July. The sixth uh, de septiembre. There we go. There it is. Have okay. a great day. All right. So have a great day and have fun. Let's go. All right. Um, we took this uh, because it was Trafalgar week, and what we decided to do was take a uh, a thing. So let's just get started because we got a lot of slides to show you and a lot of destinations to go to. So here we go. The world, right? That's where we go. All right, go. and we're going to Europe, right. and then we're going to the next one. Here we are. We're in yeah, the United we're Kingdom. Focus All right. On this. Go ahead. You want to talk? Um, about this? this is, you know, one of the tours that we picked from the Trafalgar book because right. it's a nice, easy tour. You're going to see. It's called um, Real Britain. I Real Britain, you're right. It's mm -hmm. nine days, and it's really perfect. Nine days for maybe the first traveler who wants to do the UK. Uh, let's go to the next slide, and we'll show you the, the itinerary. Let's go to the next slide. There it is, right there. there Let me get out of the way. So there we go. There's the, the itinerary. As you can see, it's a it's a nine day tour. It's a real Britain. It's a tour of Liverpool, Edinburgh, and you know. So you go to two countries. So two countries, and Somewhere it's there. a nice, easy pace. This tour is uh, also includes quite a few of your meals. Yep. Some really nice sightseeing tours, and of course, as you remember with Trafalgar, they do um, one dinner or one lunch with a family. That's right, so of, of the nation that you're visiting, on. yeah, yes. to, get, to get cultural, you know. Now, also, another thing about Trafalgar is they do give you time away from the group where you can go and do things by yourself. And that might be a real chance to maybe, you know, book a via tour or, you know, if you're going to do a small little via right. thing or something for your client. So that's why we really wanted to show you. And, I, you know, we know you guys... Don't do a lot of Europe, but this is a really, really great and a lot of fun. Now, the trick here is to book it when? You need to book this, I would say, May, June, July. But be careful, right? Because it gets very packed. And right. don't forget, you're going to be rainy here yep. a lot. This is, you're never going to have 80 degrees or all. But you know what? I think a couple of years ago they had. No, this they, summer they, they this had summer, in Stonehenge. Europe had Stonehenge. a lot of heat. So. In London, they had 90 degree weather. And, and there's them, no air conditioning. These people do not have air conditioning. So, so at least you'll be in an air conditioned bus. Yeah. So you'll stay cool. So I really think this is a great tour for somebody. Maybe it's their first time. They want to yeah. venture out. They want to go to Europe. And this is great. Everybody speaks English here. So if you've got somebody that's worried about a language barrier, None here. None here. None I would here really all. recommend this. This would be a fun tour. It's very reasonably priced. Yeah. And I think you get to see the it's best. It's a great introduction. Countries. It's a it great is. introduction to Trafalgar too. I absolutely think so. You know, it really is because it, it'll show you what they, what they do, and they really do a superb job of taking their 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 guests on these uh, motor coaches and going through this fabulous fabulous old country. It's really really cool. So let's go to the next slide. All right, where you start, you start in London. All right. Now, you would probably fly into Heathrow, then take either the train or, or get some sort of transportation into the city center of London. And can you just zoom out a little bit, Amanda, so we can just show them how, you know, it's really funny, but because here in the United States, we're so used to having these vast, these vast areas, you know, right? I know. But here, it's like everything's right on top of each other. Um, and flying into London Heathrow, um, just remember... You know, Jose's been talking about arriving into airports and things. This is a very busy airport. It's a very yeah. international airport, right. and it's super busy. Like we covered yesterday, when, you know, getting through the airport when you're flying to Charles de Gaulle Airport. Now, picture that. It was at Heathrow, and you still have to go through passport check and baggage and customs check before you even get out. And it's like a 12, 13-hour flight from Los Angeles. You're going to be tired. Even if you fly out of New York for eight hours, you're going to be tired. You've been on a plane for eight hours. So you take that into consideration when you're planning this, you know, uh, have a pre-night 
post a pre-night there in the hotel. Before They'll do that, yeah, yeah. After Fogger, if you wish to do a night prior. Yeah. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind for your customer because this is a long flight. I know from the East Coast, it's probably not so bad from, but from the West Coast and the Midwest, yeah. plus you've got a time change. Yeah. So you need your, you need your body to acclimate what time it is because you're Pretty doing quickly. everything backwards. You're eating when you're supposed to be sleeping. You're sleeping when you're supposed to be eating. Right, right. It's in your first couple of days, you're like, oh, you feel all almost sluggish because you're yeah. just, everything is wrong. And you're on the go. You're, you're, you're busy. You're, and you're on the yeah. go. You're very busy and you're seeing things. So, you know, really take that time to acclimate yourself. All right, let's go to, can we zoom in a little bit, Amanda, on these? These are, uh, just so you know, we've got these maps from Google. And they're really good. Um, here is, you know, really. How, the, this is very good. The the city center up here. Uh, this is where all the action pretty much is. You have Mayfair. That's like their Beverly Hills. Right. Uh, Westminster. You have. Uh, this is this is just the whole Chelsea. You have the Chelsea area, right? Yeah. Really good maps. Again, if you want to use these, please, you know, um, they're available to you through Google Maps. Yeah, yeah from And Google. use this when you're selling to your customer. Give them an idea where they're you going. You should. You really should. It makes it. It makes them feel much better about where they're going. They don't feel so That's lost. right. And, and if you're using Zoom, this is a great visual that you can use to show them, okay, this is what you're, where you're going to be at. You can even go to the, the exact hotel. You can zoom into the exact hotel and the street where they'll be at. That's right? true. And, that, and, that's, and there's a lot of stuff to do in London. All right. So let's just see a couple of pictures of what we got from London and just to share them. And again, the, you can share these with your clients. There's Big Ben. Big Ben. All right. Not Old Ben, Big Ben. Big Ben. Now, right. supposedly, right, Greenwich, which is like, what, 30 miles east of there, east, yeah. is where time starts. Everything goes according to Greenwich to mean Greenwich time. time. That's Greenwich right. time. And that's why this is really important when this clock chimes. You know, when you listen, if you've ever listened to BBC Radio at the top of the hour, that's a live chime that, that you hear from Big from Ben. From Big Ben. So, you know, that's, that's funny because it is Greenwich time. It is Greenwich time. That's great. So, as you can see, there's that. And then uh, last week we showed you a video. I showed you a video uh, uh, recently on uh, in the morning briefing about the, the eye, the London eye. London eye. And there it is right there, uh, right next to it. So, you see, so this is pretty much walking distance. But this there is the Thames right there, as you can see. Well, I can't. Now, right. well, you've got you've got Big Ben there. You've got the House of Parliament and the Bank of the Time, the Thames, and then you have Buckingham Palace. Right. These are all very accessible by walking. This is a good place to get a hop on, hop off. Yep. This is a very easy city to walk around, and I was surprised. Plus, um, I can't think what is their transportation. Is is it the, like the L? Um, you know, it's called the tube. It's the tube. The tube. Is, and is I'm really weird about in like in New York. Oh my God, I don't want to get on the subway. But I was brave enough to get on the tube here. You know what? It was really, I was really excited and it was easy. And it's I was so good. surprised. Um, but it, it's very good transportation here. Yeah, they, they, they do. Now, we never, here. it's very congested. Now, look, it's, see, busy. it's cloudy. Yeah. It's going to get rainy. So be sure that you know that your clients, you know, they might get rain, especially where they're going to be going. Let's go to the next slide. And it's a damn cold. It's yeah, it is. Cold. It is. Oh, there, it's double decker beautiful. bus. Yeah, very look cool. at this. It's beautiful. This is uh, just a hop on, hop off bus tour that you can just and look at this. You have the double buses here. Um, and, and there's plenty of stuff to do. There's really great restaurants. I mean, let me tell you, Great Britain has never been known to being really good culinary eats place. But it has become. But it has become that. And, and there are some really great culinary experiences if you want to explore that also. Let's go to the next slide. Also, great cedar here. A lot oh, yeah. of it starts and then, here. Yeah, we'll and then show in the, the Soho district, that's where the There it is, right here. Is. This is the West End of London. Yeah, These shows on, on, on the West End are a lot cheaper than the shows on Broadway in the United States. They're West affordable. West. They are. They are affordable. And the area is called Soho. Yeah. And this is where there's a lot of international restaurants, surprisingly. Yes. I, I was really surprised that there was Chinese there. There was a German restaurant. So... Don't think that it's all, right. you know, beef and potatoes. And, 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 and you will great see theaters. great shows mm -hmm. and the theaters are very intimate. You, you'll be like, they're, smaller. They, yeah. they're, they're way smaller. So you're blown away when you see these fantastic shows and they do have all of them. And it's really, really quite an experience. Um, you can get some really great deals. You know, um, I used to know a, a college uh, theater department. They used to take their kids in oh, January, mm -hmm. in January. And they do like four theaters. Yeah, yes, and, and they would just be, because everything was so affordable because it's so cold then. And it's it's, it's not their, their peak season, but this is really, really good. If you've got people that are into Broadway and going to see theater, this is a place to go. Some right. of the best start here. Oh yeah. And All we right. end up, yeah. All right, Perfect. let's go to the next, next one. one.
Yeah, that way. Yeah, that way. Oh, look at this shot. At nighttime. And, yeah. It's, it's really spectacular. With, you know, there's people don't realize there's a lot of waterways that run through yes. here. You can see that. And then with That's the, the lights of the Thames, and it's the Big Ben at night. And then where the bridge is, you can see the lights on it. Mm -hmm. it's, it is quite a beautiful city. I was going to get a photo of the Tower Bridge, but I, I, I didn't I didn't do that. So, so this is good. Those are, those are business from London. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay, there is the Tower Bridge. There's yeah, the I did I did include that. Pretty bridge. Yeah, it's really, really nice. And, you know, um, this is like one of the oldest structures in, in Europe that, that's still functional. You look it's at really... the, arc, um, the architect oh, yeah. on yeah, this. It's, it's, it's pretty spectacular. Pretty, it right. is. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So you're in London, then you hop on the motor coach, and they're going to take you to Stonehenge, Bath, that's and cool. Cardiff. All right? This is nice. You're going to get on the motor coach in London, so just like we up. started. And they're going to take you to Stonehenge, Bath, and Cardiff. These places are fairly close. So um, they're going to stop along the way. So if you zoom in, you can see Stonehenge and then Bath and Cardiff. Not much it's really not to so do with Stonehenge. Yeah. It's pretty much just the rocks out there. Just, yeah. <laughs> and we'll show you where the rocks are. But we'll that's the, all it is. The stones are. stop because it's famous. But yeah. um, it's not going to be... It'll be kind of a highlight, but I think the other parts of this tour yeah. in eight days is I mean, as you can see, there's nothing much to do around there. You, there you go. You know, and, and they and they keep it. Now, this it's, is a live shot. No, I don't think this is live. This is a satellite shot. Satellite. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to the next slide. All right, so here you have Stonehenge. And yeah. this is, I always think of this as Spinal Tap when I, when I see this film. <laughs> Stonehenge. There's a joke, right? <laughs> right in the movie there. Spinal Tap. Spinal where they're, they're singing and the dwarves come out and they're, they're like, and they bring down Stonehenge and it's this little rock little thing. Little thing. It's <laughs> so, crazy. So. Um, this is a century, it's centuries old oh. and it, the myths have never been fully revealed about what this is about. My yeah. guess scientists to this day they, they are know. still, they don't know. You know, they said it's alien, aliens that came down and made this, you know, but there's never really been a true answer to nope. this. There, it's still one of those things. So if you have an idea what you think this is, let us know. All right, there you go. All right, let's go to the next slide. I like this next photo here. Look at that. I know. Look at yeah, the sky. Like, isn't that weird? It's, it's like very, very, odd. very, very. You know. Good thing they don't have an earthquake here yeah. because that would probably all. <laughs> then you see out. some wizard come yeah. out of there going, "Yeah, you know, <laughs> so, something or some glitch or something, you know, some warlock." <laughs> you know, oh, I was in Stone Age, just saw a warlock. Let's go to the next slide. All right, so here we have the city of Bath. <sighs> nice. And you've been here, right? Yeah. Um, Bath is, you know, it's a it's the elegant Georgian architect of Bath. It's a famous spa town, surprisingly. Yeah. So and they went and took a it is. <laughs> they took a bath. <laughs> Where they I took yeah, a bath at Bath. Took a bath. Yeah. Um, yeah. Beautiful architect here. Again, yeah. um, a lot of history. It's yeah. just and it's not what we're saying about this tour, it's not long rides everywhere. So you're not gonna no. feel like you're sitting in the bus all the time because when they stop here, you're gonna do um you know, Stonehenge, Bath, and then Cardiff, which are all very close. close. right. But a lot of beautiful scenery here. And let's go to the next slide, Amanda. Pretty. Look at the day here. Oh, uh, look at this. Again, I mean, really. Oh, look at the history. Yeah. You know, that's what is, I have to say. When yeah. you go to London and you go to Great Britain, the history here, you can really well, feel. Well, no, now we're in Cardiff. Here, now you're in Cardiff. And this is in Cardiff. Cardiff. And Cardiff is, is, is the capital of Wales. Wales. Which is another little, well, it's not really a country well it is but it's not but right i mean it's it, well they think it is yeah the welsh think the it welsh is, think it is but it's really part of the united kingdom right and, and they speak all, okay now different they speak different a whole dialect. different language okay i mean it's, totally it's like you're, you're here and you go what the heck was yeah, that no. as you go through some of these places these little towns they all have a little bit different yes growing. Yes. And you can really tell that you're some in a, it's like in another county, I right? Guess, like right. County Cork. Well, it's it's just like being in the United States. Of you course. go over regions, you know, Texans, Southern people, you know, Northern people, Midwestern people from Chicago, New Yorkers. You know, there's all these different accents and, and stuff. So you're going to experience the same thing when you're in a country like this. But you'll still understand them. It just may take you a little. Yeah. Longer. All right. Let's go to the next one. This is a great little town too. It's, look oh, at look at it. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's really, really These beautiful. photographs are excellent. Yeah, yeah they really they're, they're really nice. They're Let's so go to nice. the next slide. Okay, and this is out, I think this is the Capitol building there of, of Cardiff uh, in their fountain area um, where, you know, public spaces and stuff. So it looks really nice. This is actually where the heritage of the Welsh come from. Oh, right, there Cardiff. you go. Yes. And I always thought, well, Welsh rabbit. 
Okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> well, right? Well, yes. Okay. Can someone type into the room in the comments, what is Welsh rabbit? What is Welsh rabbit? What okay. is Welsh rabbit? That will be a quiz. That'll be end. a quiz. Okay. All right. What is Welsh rabbit? And don't go looking up online. No, just give just it to Just give us. us your answer. Right off the top of your head. What is Welsh rabbit? All right, let's go to there the next go. one. <laughs> All right, all now we're right. going to go to Liverpool. And we all know about this. Right. Okay. So you spend the night in Cardiff, you get up the next day, and we're going to go to Liverpool. The British city of Liverpool is home of what? But, but you know what really kills me is when you look at this map, look how close everything is. It is. I mean, like Liverpool and Manchester, right? Manchester up there, it, it's Sheffield, the Sheffield, Leeds. These are major cities in the United Kingdom, especially Manchester. They have Manchester, a great football team. It's you know? become very popular. Yes. Um, Manchester has become like the secondary city rather than going into London. Manchester's yes. airport is pretty spectacular. Yes. And they built up the city around Manchester. It's become a very hot tourist spot. Right. You could probably spend three or four days in the Manchester area. Manchester area. And, really area. Nice, and they are yeah. one of the greatest sports team in the world on the planet. Um, Manchester, United Manchester United is United. That's from there. Uh, but you can see how close everything is, you know, and although it's different, you know, they don't have like freeways from Liverpool to Manchester. They have roads, uh, but it's not really like, a, you know, an interstate system, but you can get there pretty quickly. Uh, let's go to the next slide and we'll show you, you know, Liverpool by the water there. Um, look at this. Look at this. I love the buildings. Here. Everybody's just got a great big yeah. clock. Yeah. Every one of those. Well, because back then nobody had wristwatches. Nobody watches. had a wristwatch. And they would, right. you know, that's how they would do time. That's a beautiful building. Yeah. Let's go to the next, next slide. Next one. Wow. Oh, you know, this is another shot from this area here. This is, I think, is the city council area or the Liverpool uh, government building. And you can buildings. see how, yeah, you can see how they modernized along yes, here with the yes, walkways. They have, you they can have see done the this. difference. Look at the building over, I have to go like this, over here. Mm -hmm. That's a brand new building. Yeah, that's so a brand they've new got building. kind of done the old with the new, but look how beautifully they meshed it together. So it yeah. just really blends. Yeah. Let's go to the next slide. And then here are the four. There's there's a lot of these statues in Liverpool uh, of very famous Liverpoolians, Liverpoolians. Who, who, who live there. This is one of the Beatles um, um, in that city hall area there that, that I showed you. Look. I'm getting into junk. <laughs> There's actually pick up, the, yeah. pick up his wallet there. There's a club here. It was called where the Fab of Four. It was the, called the Cavern Club, and that's where the Beatles once played during an evening at leisure. They just went into yeah. this club and just started playing. So Liverpool has a lot of history, and mostly people think of Liverpool. Of course, they think of the Fab Four Beatles. Yeah, and if you're a big Beatles fan, they have all kinds of tours for oh, the Beatles. Yeah. Oh, they have. They, we got all kinds of stuff going on. You go over where Abbey Road is, where the where the recording studio. Well, was. that's in London. Though. That's in London, and but, but here is where some of the other because they're very close to the, this is yeah. some of their home here. Right, this is where they got their start. That's right. Let's go to the next slide. Do, 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 do. Okay, romantic, romantic Lake, Lake District, Edinburgh. Amanda says, "What is this, Amanda? What is this romantic?" Okay. Now we're getting what into a different country. We're going into um, Scotland. Scotland, okay. And let, can we zoom out? I'm sorry, I mean, yeah. I, I want to zoom out because I want to show them uh, where it is from, like Liverpool. Uh, okay, so Liverpool. Then the next day you go There's all the way up in one day, right? One day of walk. You, this is fairly. It looks like it's a long ways, but this is a not. major, pretty much a highway yeah. here. Yeah, you can get so there pretty get quick. There okay, you can zoom quick. in now. Very good. Go ahead and zoom in. As you can see, Manchester's listed. This is the romantic views of Britain's Lake District. Yeah. It's a scenic backdrop to North of Scotland. Again, this is the capital of the country. Um, there is a lot to do, a lot of historic stuff. Uh, there's, you know, you will be seeing a lot of things around here. Um, they do have a really, really great, uh, you know. There's, yeah, there's, there's a romantic shores of Lake Windermere. And it's um, the views from that lake inspired liter line. literary greats like William Wadsworth. Look at that. And this is also where the Edinburgh Castle is. Yeah, where the Edinburgh Castle is. So pretty. These lakes are so, beautiful. They yeah, are they are beautiful. They are really, really beautiful. Let's go to the next one. Now, again, remember, you know, May, June, it's still kind of chilly here. You know? But look how green it is. You look, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's just like in Ireland and Scotland, you know, they don't, you know, their highs in July and August might be 70. So maybe that's hot for them. It is. So, I know. It's you know, kind go, of crazy. Go, oh my God, it's 68 60. degrees. Let's put the air, air conditioning on. Let's I'm a fan. The, yeah, that's right. Let's <laughs> go to the next slide. And these are like, 
I want to show this because, you know, how different Americans live as compared to Europeans, this stacking, these, the you know, these, these really narrow, uh, you know, apartments that they have, that they have a, a lock These up streets stairway. are very narrow. Yes, they are very narrow. And as he, Jose's right, you, you know, see how close you look out the window, there's somebody right across from me. I mean, yeah. and they're right on top of each other, right next, 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 next. Remember, they don't have any yards here. We're very fortunate in the yes. United States. Most of us have some type of a yard or someplace, but they they're, they need to take, use the most of their space as possible because they don't have right. a lot of open space. Then this and is, to have a yard, that's luxury. That time. is major big time. I think in most, yeah. a lot of European countries, yeah. big big city ones, they don't they don't have you know much of a garden or a house. And to that have a little bit of that, itself. you know, around your property, that's like you know, yeah. oh, you must be rich or wealthy or you something must be like that. Very wealthy. Well. All right, let's go to the next slide. And I think this is Edinburgh Castle. It, this should be Edinburgh Castle. Right? Yes, there, there it is. is. And you will probably have a tour wow. here. You will. There uh, is a tour that goes there, up here. Right. This is pretty interesting. When you get to the top, the view from this castle. From the grounds is unbelievable. It's it's like a three sixty all the yeah. way around. Mm -hmm. Imagine living here oh. as a prince or a king or, or a queen or a queen. Or a now again, if you were going to go with Trafalgar, you would get head of the line tickets. You don't have to wait. You pull up, you hop out of the bus you, or the motor coach, you go straight up into the place. And, and then they'll give you some time, they'll give you yeah. a tour inside, and then they give you, you know, some time outside to kind of roam yeah, around just, a little bit yeah, to, yeah. to look at the grounds and things. So they're not going to rush you here. Like we were talking about, this is fairly, the proximities are close to each other. Mm -hmm. So you'll have that nice leisure time. You don't feel like you're, you know, looking out the window bus and everything's flying by you. Right. Nice, nice, nice picture. Let's go to the next slide. Look at this. This is beautiful at night. Look, it's purple. Yeah. It's, it's like, I just want to show you what this looks like during the nighttime. And then you can see there's their stadium back right there. there. That's their stadium for stadium. Edinburgh. When they have Again, their, we have another clock. Games. Very important. And another clock. clock there. Let's go to the next slide. All right. Hadrian's Wall in York. Okay. We were talking about this yesterday. Hadrian's Wall is this. This was built by Emperor Hadrian back in the day when the Romans owned all of this place. And they built it as a defense mechanism. And you can actually go there and visit this place. All right. And then Tafalgar will take you there to see this. And let's go to the next slide. Now, if you have a wall, you have an army, right? You need to have barracks. And here are the actual barracks where these, these soldiers would stay at. Um, I mean, all of these ruins have been deteriorating through the centuries, but they're still, you can go there and visit them. And, and they show you about how they lived and stuff. These are where the Roman soldiers of the Roman army lived uh, during that time period. Well, that was, they were venturing south to uh, the ancient cathedral city of yeah. York. Right. And um, the York minister, um, this is one of the um, greatest cathedrals in the world. Right. Is in what York. they say. Mm -hmm. I was really impressed with this because I had really no idea until Jose talked to me about it. All I could think about <laughs> was it just... looked like the Great Wall of China, right. if you look. So he said that was, you know, to keep them on their side. Right. Well, they were fighting against, were you know, fighting the, the, the Irish and the too. Scots that were trying to get in and take over Britain and stuff. So that's why they built this wall. Let's go to the next slide. So we have the movie Braveheart. Yeah. Well, sort of, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> look this, how green it is. Yeah. All right. So look it's at that. This is York. very ancient city. This is York. And as Susie said, it's, it is a very ancient city. It's very ancient. But uh, it's, it's a wonderful, again, it's a wonderful place that you can go and really experience, you know, the culture getting immersed in, you know, what Great Britain and the United Kingdom is all about. Let's go to the next slide. And that is the ancient cathedral yeah. back there. And look, even Amanda <laughs> thought this. <laughs> Amanda, you want to talk about this talk street? Talk about this street. What, is it, what did you think about it? I, when I was previewing this before we went live, I was like, Harry Potter. Yeah, that's right. Here he comes. Right. You know, that's, you know, <laughs> no, he's going to go in there and buy his, his broom or something. Uh, um, I love the name of the store, Little Shambles. But, but that's the area. That's the area of this place here that it's called. It's called Little Shambles. And uh, look at how, this is really cool, the signs from the merchants, right. how they stick out. And they've got like their family, um, what is it, like a family thing that would you have that belongs to your family? Emblems. Emblems. Emblems, right. So a lot of these are really beautiful. And a lot of cities in Europe, that's how the signage are. It's not on their... It's not on their windows. Yeah, they hang across like that. Right. These are really beautiful. This is a fun, fun thing. Look again. Look how thin the streets are. I know. I no know. cars here. No cars here. No, no room. Let's look, go to the next slide. Look at that. Okay. Talk about Harry Potter. Harry there he comes. is coming on. And there's that great cathedral that Susie was talking about. 
Um, again, this is, is this is some really great stuff and really historic stuff. But you can also have fun. Now, let me tell you something. I know this a lot. You know, we're talking to you about history and all that. But these places still rock. They party. Uh, they have great food. They have great entertainment. And uh, they, they really do have that nightlife. So it's not like it's boring. You know, you're really going to have a good time. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So that's York. And now let's do this one. This go ahead. is good. This is Stratford upon Avon. Um, this is the story where Shakespeare's life. Uh, at his birthplace and the visitor center and it's Stratford upon Avon and it's also Anne Hathaway's you can see some pictures of Anne Hathaway's thatched house hi Ron Archer are you guys having high tea yes Just because we're doing great fit would you like to toast with us no <laughs> well I'm not working oh you're not oh, you're I'm not. on vacation okay Ron's on VA okay. are you taking this oh you have a dangerous oh, oh. shirt okay oh Oh, he's going to say something. Okay, hold on. Look, it's Ron. Oh, look, I'm oh, half, I'm half and half. Right. <laughs> half and half. <laughs> okay, no, we'll get you. We'll get you in here. Okay. We're, we're we're set we're up. We're doing Stratford upon Avon. Have you been here? We're doing Great Britain. Have you ever been to Stratford upon Avon? Uh, I know you're a big Shakespeare fan. <laughs> I I have I have not actually. Oh, really? Which, me and Billy are tight though. <laughs> You and Billy? <laughs> Me and Billy are tight. And what about what about Anne Hathaway? You talk to her very often? Anne Hathaway. Do you remember her? <laughs> Anne Hathaway. The actress. Yes, I remember who the actress is. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, what are we doing? We're doing I'm speech. here. There okay. he is. What are you gonna say? Good. What do you have something to say? I was told to come this in and finished. break in on the Yes, I went to dinner at Damon's the other night, so I bought a t shirt. That's fresh. So, okay. I'm on vacation today. I just I'm beaming in from my house in Oregon. Okay. I'm not really here. Okay. <laughs> well, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know. I could, I mean, Amanda's in Idaho. I could be anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. You're remotely. That's right. All right. Uh, let's show, show you some pictures of Stafford upon Avon. Now, remember, Trafalgar uh, comes here. Now, this is one of the last Trafalgar? Things. Trafalgar. Yeah. yeah. Trafalgar. 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 Okay. Uh, these thing, streets yeah. are, th now, this is more of an ancient town. This is a little bit older than what you're going to see uh, in London with the modern architecture, but this is a little bit quainter. You want to continue? Yeah, and when you do the tour here, they will take you to the visitor center where um, Shakespeare had his home, and they'll go through the history of some of the documents he has there. So this is a really interesting city. It's a, a little bit crowded, I'll have to say. Yeah. I was surprised because there's so many tourists going through here. But again, this is toward the end of your tour. You're not that far from London, and the tour will return to back London. to London. Okay. So this is pretty close. All right, let's go to the next slide. Just showing you some pictures. That's the actual house, that's supposedly, right? the actual house, right? yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then let's go to the next slide. Can you imagine if that was Shakespeare's house, how old that is, and what the plumbing must be like? There is no plumbing. Well, there's got to be something. There's something, right. There's a lake. <laughs> there's a lake. <laughs> let's go to the next slide. <laughs> I, we, we did want to touch a little bit uh, on the, the other uh, company that Lisa spoke about. And if you can go to the next slide, you're right. Brendan Vacations. They really know how to do Ireland. And they are a sister company of the brand Travel Corporation. And I'm sure Lisa mentioned that. So just take a look at this video called Discover Dublin. Go ahead and roll it, Amanda. One hundred thousand welcomes to Dublin, Ireland's vibrant capital. Ireland's largest city caters to every type of traveller. Whether venturing out into the main scene for a traditional pub crawl or discovering your Celtic ancestry with your family. There are countless attractions, cultural centres and beautiful historical monuments to explore. Around the world, Ireland is known for its famous dry stout and it's said that the best tasting brew can only be found at the Guinness storehouse. Discover its age old secrets as you wind through the exhibits of the seven story interactive museum and finish with the perfect pint surrounded by panoramic views at the breathtaking gravity bar. A must see on any trip to Dublin is a visit to Trinity College and the Book of Kells exhibition. The college's spectacular library is home to more than 200,000 books, highlighted by the 9th century masterpiece that documents the four Gospels of Jesus Christ. 
the adjoining exhibition offers a unique insight into the book and to a rich part of Ireland's culture. A history of famine and strife saw upwards of 9 million people leave Ireland to form communities around the world. Epic, the Irish Emigration Museum brings these stories to life. With 20 interactive galleries, Epic will give you access to valuable records on genealogy and shed light on tales of triumph and adventure. Join our local specialist, Pat Liddy, as he takes you through his hometown on a walking tour filled with the stories you'll never find in a book and conversations that will keep you smiling for years to come. Just outside the thriving city centre, join our local specialist for a safari hike along the coastal paths, beautiful woodlands and hidden caves of hope. Learn about the area's history and take in spectacular views along the way. Spend a cosy afternoon sampling the best of Dublin's culinary scene. The delicious Dublin food tour takes you to local shops and restaurants giving you the opportunity to taste authentic dishes like shepherd's pie and creamy local ice cream. As you eat, stroll and gab, you'll learn all about the history behind every flavour. For over 200 years, Jameson has carried on the traditions of crafting the world's most famous Irish libation and their legacy is brought to life at the Jameson Distillery Bow Street experience. Go behind the scenes of the whiskey making process uncover the history of Jameson and enjoy a few tastings along the way. For true whiskey enthusiasts, there are special classes available where you can try your hand at mixing the perfect cocktail or brewing your very own whiskey. Immerse yourself in the pure elegance of Georgian Dublin at the Marion. Made up of four impeccably restored townhouses and boasting an amazing private art collection, the hotel is located opposite government buildings with the city centre shops and attractions a few minutes walk away. Just around the corner from the Brendan Vacations office and down the street from the life-size Oscar Wilde statue, the O'Callaghan Davenport offers the perfect blend of old meets new Irish charm and is a great base to explore Dublin. Located on a picturesque tree-lined street in the heart of the city, the Wilder Townhouse combines rich Victorian heritage with modern elegance and comfort. From the stunning red brick facade to the curvely designed rooms, every detail has been considered to make a stay here truly memorable. This is just a taste of what's on offer in Dublin. There's so much more to experience no matter what your interests are. Guided by our mantra of taking you personally, our experts will help you get the most out of this region and help handcraft the perfect Celtic itinerary. Ireland, and we're here having... What? Mammy? High tea. What time the, is high tea, right? High tea is four o'clock. Uh, th that's at the top of the hour, and that's when we're going to have the Archer Travel Report. So we're running over a little bit. We'll see you guys at the top of the hour. I got some great news that's going to affect you and your business. So make sure you're there for that. They're going to, um, the, the new uh, Royal Caribbean, the largest cruise ship is going to be happening, coming to the North America. So we're going to talk about that at four o'clock, which is really cool. Sounds great. All right. So you we'll see you guys then. Bye. Bye. Is that it? Bye. <laughs> see you.